Mercedes has unveiled their driverless car. Now, this is going to send a lot of shockwaves through the industry because it's Mercedes. And when Mercedes does something, people pay attention. Google had been on, you know, developing their driverless car for the last few years. They've had it uh, in development, and we've been seeing the videos come out. But the fact that Mercedes, a, a, an actual car maker, has done their own... Uh, is fascinating. They say it will be released to consumers by 2020, so about six and plus years from now. And it's fascinating. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Oh, we don't yeah. know how much it's going to cost. We don't know how many people are going to really want it. We don't know if it's going to be the only, if it's going to be like park, drive, auto, right? Or mm -hmm. if it's just going to be mm -hmm. auto. Mm -hmm. I, I assume they have to give the consumers the choice, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the only uh, test drive that they conducted the the automatic car with uh, the driverless car with was 100 kilometers uh in in, in germany, germany which uh, you know they showed it on uh fast roads on, mm -hmm. on highways or they showed two if you will. of them interacting with each other and they've also videos, showed they them interacting really with well. pedestrians and mm -hmm. the computer systems uh you know I, I think this is i think this is great i think this is the future of of, of automobiles and where it's going of course uh, but there are of course some concerns that i have you know as, as a guy who's living in a big city and, and who walks around and who bikes around a lot uh and who's almost been hit by cars with with people controlling them regular human and, drivers. And, and totally aware of what's going on or not as aware but should not be as aware, should be you know are these computer systems going to be able to pick up you know a, a biker that just jets out in front of traffic and, and you know I, I i think they're waiting to release it you know or a boy the, who runs out on the street after his ball or yeah you know yeah a stoplight that malfunctions and you know absolutely i think that's but i think that's part of the reason why they're waiting till 2020 to do it because they waited to release this news until they had tested it on this hundred kilometer test drive because they wanted to make sure that the system was there before they came out and promised this to the consumer because that's basically what this is a guarantee you know um so i think that's part of the reason why they're waiting then you have tesla on the other hand elon musk coming out just in the last day saying that tesla is going to come out with a driverless car in the next three years and that he's such a one-upsman you know like that tesla wants about. tesla wants to compete with the luxury car makers bmw audi mercedes and when mercedes makes a big announcement whoosh, tries to undercut him even beforehand making mm -hmm. the announcement mm -hmm. saying oh we got mm -hmm. you in three years forget your six years and yeah. so yeah. that you know tesla's doing a lot of innovating hopefully uh they again safety has to be first here because if there's any accidents with this thing i mean that puts at risk the entire company's credibility and bottom line. Right, right. But I think it's going to be a little bit of give and take because I'm certainly going to be happier if somebody gets into their car drunk and the car just drives them home. Yes. I think that's fantastic. Or if a mother's got a ton of kids in the car and she's just not as focused, throw that thing into or automatic. If the teen grabs the wonderful. phone to text and the car knows what's going on. Right. I, I'm, just, I'm just concerned that will the computers be able to handle the uh, life right the 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 randomness of life and to kind of rebut myself the 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 <laughs> google's dri google's driverless car drove around for days and the only accident it got into was when someone else ran into it so in a car a human driver in a, in a human, human driver exactly <laughs> not a pedestrian so so you know i of course i'm, I'm, I'm thrilled about this mm -hmm. totally excited but there's definitely some concerns out there you know but, but we... they're also making this knowing that computers are going to get better and faster and you know all these all systems four. are going to be a lot more integrated so that the signals in the street are talk talking to the car yeah. and the car is talking to the other car right because I mean, these are going to be cars of tomorrow in yes. cities of tomorrow and yes. streets of tomorrow with so tomorrow tomorrow